It's been a busy 24 hours in Portsmouth for the Royal Navy. This morning, HMS York returned from five months at sea, including an operation to evacuate refugees from Libya. Last night, HMS Illustrious was welcomed home after a £40 million refit. She'll now be equipped with Apache helicopters. Tim Cooper reports. The 29-year-old ship had looked like an aircraft carrier as she'd entered the harbour, but she's not now. Instead, Illustrious can house up to 20 helicopters and up to 600 deployable personnel. Illustrious has been away from base port for 16 months, so bringing her back here after quite a lot of hard work, updating her, getting her back into a ship shape state, has meant an awful lot to ships coming today. The Royal Navy was keen to show HMS Illustrious in her new role. A Merlin helicopter launching from her deck as she lay alongside once more in Portsmouth Naval Base. She'll operate in her new role until 2014. Her predominant reason for existence is to cover a planned refit for HMS Ocean, the Royal Navy's other helicopter platform currently off the coast of Libya. From April next year, Illustrious will be fully operational and therefore deployable. But although Libya would be strong favourite if the situation dictated, there are no firm plans. Whether well, it's going to be disaster relief, uh, repatriating British nationals around the world from an unstable country or going to combat, we'll be ready for anything. For the ship's new crew, today was an exhilarating experience and the future holds much promise. Looking forward to seeing some more helicopters on board. Big piece of kit. Getting back out to sea and getting on with my job. HMS Illustrious will welcome Apache helicopters to her flight deck from Monday as part of her ongoing workup training. And while Illustrious is looking to the future, the crew of Type 42 destroyer HMS York are reflecting on the past. Five months deployed, including time in the South Atlantic helping to patrol the Falkland Islands, then the Caribbean and Libya. York was diverted from her scheduled role to help evacuate 43 British civilians from rebel-held Benghazi, then under serious threat from Colonel Gaddafi's forces. We arrived um, at a jetty that was chaotic, uh, two and a half thousand or more people all trying to get onto ships to get out of that area there. Um, on the jetty itself, a mixture of people in uniform, people in civilian clothing, all walking around with, with rifles, AK-47s. We raised like our awareness, uh, extra people on the upper deck. We had a, a contingency of Royal Marines uh, protection group come on board to like, form an outer cordon when we went ashore. Um, obviously the weapons were uh, ready. Following her time in Libya, HMS York continued to the South Atlantic before rounding the Horn and steaming the western length of South America through the Panama Canal and eventually now home. An impressive feat for a 29-year-old ship. As she entered Portsmouth Harbour, the ship fired a 15-gun salute. The ship sailed some 29,000 miles right around the globe. They've seen some amazing sights, but Probably one of the ones I'll remember the best is this one, coming in to Portsmouth. Families waited on the quayside, eager for the moment of reunion. When it came, as it always is, it was very special. I've been away for a little while and it's uh, good to get home for the family. When he went he was titchy and now he's not so titchy. <laughs> Not to catch up on. Hell of a lot, yeah. It's not known whether HMS York will get to deploy again. The Type 42 destroyer is nearing the end of her life. She'll be decommissioned next October. If this is her last hurrah, crew and their families can be proud of her operation in Libya and her 29 years' service. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Portsmouth.